everybody! Yes, I love the countdown actually. And uh, hello again, it's Enrico speaking from uh, Reply Headquarter in Turin, the rainy Turin, kind of rainy, live as always, because we are used to say we are live for our ending, the final, the fourth and final uh, Reply Sustainable Investment Challenge webinar progress webinar together with the wall reply titanium team that i'm pleased to welcome hello guys hello everybody i see you popping up connecting and appearing uh hi to all our familiar faces uh, starting from the coach of course mr paolo fabris ciao paolo all fine seems so yeah okay yeah just don't mute yourself guys you know uh, that yeah ciao. don't ciao. worry don't worry hello hi, guys Ciao Matteo, Hi. ciao Hello, Emilio, everyone. ciao Davide. Hello everybody, welcome on board and uh, thank you very much as always for being uh, uh, here together with us today for the closing webinar as exactly as the uh, the graphics, the rolling graphics is saying right now. Hello everybody to all uh, our audience made uh, as you know by uh, the repliers, let's start by them today, our community of uh, colleagues uh, into reply. We uh, have already said that we uh, got more than 400 registration, registered repliers playing in this challenge, this particular reply challenge. So I, to all of you, of course, connected and watching us uh, through our beloved uh, new video platform, Chick Norris Television. And uh, of course, you are uh, invited to propose us your question, your doubt, uh, whichever you want to 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 ask to our uh, colleagues here, and of course the whole audience, the more than fourteen thousand registration that we have on challenges.reply.com, uh, that are uh, again the base of this investment challenge from more than ninety countries worldwide, uh, and results that we are all. Uh, I would say proud of and that is most up thanks to you guys that developed and, and designed this beautiful challenge starting since months ago uh I, I was right in saying you start working on it in it was christmas time kind of please correct me if i'm wrong yeah around november <laughs> yeah. No, even before okay even before so november that's great the um all right as i as i said we are live please guys share your doubts question use the the chat uh, uh, appearing, I mean, already present in challenges.reply.com. And uh, uh, we are here to help you because those are the final hours of our, of our challenge for it, uh, for its online round, the qualification round, because the deadline tonight will be at 10 p.m. Central European Solar Time. So at that moment, the, uh, the challenge will, the online qualification round will end up. And so, guys, those are the last hours for you in order to uh, be on top of the leaderboard, to approach the top of the leaderboard. And then, of course, we'll be back on May uh, 12 to 14 for the final round with the top 100 players qualified thanks to this online round. We'll be there to talk a bit about the mechanism, uh, the strategy as well, o of course, to help you in those final hours. We had this beautiful moment past the webinar. I mean, in all the webinars, we help you sharing hints. But this time we will we will continue in giving you more than one hint behind my friend Davide, if I'm right. Already you can see the most uh, the most powerful hint ever, is it? But it's a kind yeah. of a trick. It's a tricky we, one. Yeah, we decided this time to hide in plain sight uh, what you should do in the final hours, and especially to the final if you get there in your external one. So. You have to look closely and you'll get a, a good guess, I think. And, and think about it. Okay, sorry, David, I'm already in love with the T-shirt you're sharing because I see the the other the guys, the Titanium team is, uh, you know, perfect in suits with the tie, uh, absolutely in, in the right dress code. David, is, I'm wearing the, the challenge T-shirt by design because I have to, of course. Or every challenge I move with the different T-shirts. David has a very particular one, right? Yeah, we, we decided to produce some very limited edition, we can say T-shirt. Merchandising. For challenge. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> we are all in the merchandising and our new motto, by good, sell bad, is uh, with us uh, for all the challenges. I'm already in love with it. It's, a, it's a, an exclusive and limited edition T-shirt. So uh, why not to, to sell it, to, or no, to sell, to, to, to give it away to some lucky people if they want it, okay? We can think about it. Anyhow, behind Davide, there is a very powerful int for you guys, the players. If you, why not to do this? If you are able to propose us during this hour of the of the webinar the solution to this hint, you will receive the T-shirt as well. Might work. 
I think yeah. it could work greatly. Come on, we are here, we are live, we can do whatever we want, and everything is allowed to do it, so no no problem. Okay, so guys, start by uh, trying to guess the hint behind David's shoulders on the blackboard there, because it's something helpful for you, and you can get the T-shirt out of it uh, as well. Uh, let me start, uh, as always, by, uh, by doing a very short recap, because right now at our fourth webinar, we are talking about something that people already know, but I, can, I would ask to the control room to share, up, to share my... Presentation, briefly presentation. Thank you very much, guys. As you all know, we are talking about the Reply Sustainable Investment Challenge, asking all the people registered on challenges.reply.com to play from April the 19th until April the 30th. That is, of course, today, the ending day of this first round, and to show up your talent in letting us know how you would invest your $1 million pretend money in, a, in the most sustainable way by reaching, of course, a great results uh, out of your investment. The, 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 of course, the game is fully online on the platform, and then we will move. We are about to approach the online final round on May 12 to the 14th with the top uh, 100 players, again, the most talented traders that are uh, right now competing on the platform and uh, uh, right now on our leaderboard. Uh, I would move on in order to show you up some stats, some statistics. There we are. Uh, this is the, those are the, the numbers so far that we reached uh, from April the 19th till April the 30th. So four hours before the, den the deadline of this online round, we are talking about almost about 70,000 transactions so far. A huge number, an incredible number, even comparing it with the past edition. And we are about $2 billion money traded so far. So again, a great number of, uh, I mean, an, an incredible amount of money, even if pretend money, but an incredible amount of money traded and, and uh, again, aim to uh, select the best traders in this competition. The uh, profit and loss uh, percentage has slightly changed. So we have uh, right now still a positive, uh, more than half of the player has a, profit, uh, a positive profit and loss uh, uh, balance, and it slightly, uh, uh, a bit less, 42% is negative. Uh, I would ask uh, uh, Paolo if you want to comment briefly those numbers so far, and then we can move to the other slide uh, lately. Yeah, uh, I mean, very briefly. Uh, actually, uh, what we can see is that uh, a lot of transactions, as you, uh, as you already mentioned, Enrico, uh, took place. So this is uh, meaning that in the last few days, uh, there have been uh, kind of movement, even though the vast majority of the portfolios were established in the first days, as we will see later down the road. Uh, however, as you said, nearly two billion dollars uh, have been uh, have been trading so far. So. Uh, I would say that, uh, generally speaking, the vast majority of the of the players, let's say, took the chance to to use their money and to see what uh, what happened. About the reshuffle of the let's say PNL uh, among the among the players, I would say that it can be. A, Quite normal, be, given the fact that we are approaching the, the last day of the of the challenge, and uh, uh, probably you're doing your best in the last few hours to to take profit and taking some risk, of course, because for sure it's an investment challenge. But the training possibilities are with there, and if you can round your your results, uh, you are going to try to do that, and that's uh, uh, positive under the uh, challenge point of view, of course. Thank you, Paolo. The, uh, I'm, I'm about to move to the second slide, the one that uh, uh, we are uh, somehow proposing all over again in our starting presentation that has the, 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 so, the, <laughs> the so known buy, good, sell, bad index with, those, with that 4.29% compared to the average Main Street ESG rating. Uh, I would ask again Emilio to underline this. Ask, is it a good number reaching the end of our of our competition for the online round? Enrico, I think um, this is a really a wonderful number because uh, the players have understood what uh, they should uh, should do, and uh, of course uh, they understood how to invest. And this is, I think, uh, the the first, the most important point of our challenge. But uh, I want also to say another thing, Enrico. I have seen uh, uh, a comment uh, by Kartikeya, I'm sorry if uh, I have not uh, properly pronounced uh, the name, uh, 
that yes, I, re I read being, it. Be, yes, being uh, part of forty-two percent definitely doesn't feel very good. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, I cannot understand is, this. Yes, yes, of course, uh, me too. But um, I would like to say a thing to tell a thing to Kartikeya that uh, there is another day of challenge. In a day, everything could change. Um, yeah, we, we are talking because the numbers we are talking about are referred to yesterday, right? I mean, so that, that's why yes, we are. Yes, okay, of course, okay. of course. Now, our uh, um, by good cell bed index is at uh, 4.29%. So it's really, really a good number. It means that uh, uh, the players um, are, uh, have understood how they have to do. But I think also that uh, um, if we compare the the actual 100th uh, player in our ranking uh, he has uh, about uh, 22,000 points. If we go to the 200th position, uh, there are only four or 5,000 points uh, more, so um, less, I'm sorry. So what does it mean? That everything can change in only a day. So continue. My, my advice is to continue, guys, because... Uh, um, Anything is actually being uh, mm, it's chosen. This is what uh, I would like to say, Enrico. This is sure. my personal advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's of course something that uh, we can stress a lot. Keep playing till the end because yes. it's not over till it's over, as they say. And uh, um, okay, yeah. I mean, uh, just by uh, uh, wrapping up, then we all have chance to to talk about some more stuff and numbers right after. Uh, together with you guys, uh, I'm uh, uh, of course. Uh, oh, sorry. As always, I am getting back to the prizes because you know that the challenge for our top three players uh, will have. Uh, uh, we'll see a MacBook Pro for the first place, the iPad Air for the second rank, and the Apple AirPods Pro for the third. So you are playing for the prizes, but uh, of course uh, for. Uh, I mean, to show up your talent, to present yourself, to reply. Banca Generali, that is uh, uh, for the second year in a row, uh, part of our, in, in partnership with Reply in developing our challenge. And so to all, our, all the other partners, a part of this adventure, we are talking about something, again, including a prize, but most of all, including your, uh, yeah, the way, the way you learn, the way you're showing up your talent and uh, how much you, ha uh, you have passion about those topics, sustainability and finance as well. I'm uh, closing my presentation by reminding you that there is a, a way to uh, make good twice. So not only by learning something and uh, uh, on the sustainable investment topic, by, but by accessing the Instagram channel, the Instagram account of Reply Challenges, you will find there a dedicated Instagram filter for this fantastic uh, challenge edition. And you can play with it and just by sharing a picture of yourself with our beautiful filter, as already many, many people have done in the past days, you would plant a tree in our beautiful Reply Tree Dome Forest. So not only you will have fun, but you will contribute in a, with a sustainable action uh, for the world. So again, visit on Instagram, Reply Challenges account, play with our uh, sustainable investment challenge filter, which name is Face the Change, and share with us your pick in order to make a sustainable, uh, a sustainable action for the world as well. End of my part to recap everything. Of course, guys, follow us on social media. We are present everywhere because that's the best way in order to keep in touch for the next challenges. Uh, let me just mention that another challenge has been already open. The Reply Creative Challenge is up with already thousands of registration and nine different categories dedicated to digital creativity. So we are happy to announce these. I mean, it's already it have been already announced, but all you of you guys, you want to play and to test yourself with another topic. The Creative Challenge is already open. Open for the repliers as well that are following us with a dedicated category about what's uh, reply for you. So tell us through a video what is reply for you. That's the video contest, the beautiful video contest. I know Emilio is already in. So guys, you and your reply participate in this beautiful challenge. But back to the reply sustainable investment one. Uh, I see there are already uh, some kind of comments here. Uh, Davide, I see a comment about the int we were talking about. Okay, yeah, Alexandro saying, I propose to stop the challenge at yesterday, 10 p.m., because I guess that Alexandros was already in the top 100 yesterday, and maybe today the, the situation is different. Why, why not? 
yeah, it's not fair, Alexandros, my friend. I'm sorry, but the, uh, the 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 rules are there. The the challenge will end tonight at 10 p.m. Central European time. Uh, let me know, guys, where you want to continue. The um, yeah, Paolo, yeah, why not you, yeah. please. Uh, I'd like to go back to the to the numbers sure. that uh, Enrico, sorry, uh, that Emilio shared before. So the the average uh, ESG rate uh, calculated by Main Street and uh, the average ESG rate traded by our participants. Uh, this graph shows that. Uh, what we can see on the right side of the of the of the slide, uh, generally speaking, the inner circle is uh, the uh, reference uh, the reference distribution among uh, ESG ratings uh, provided by uh, in Main Street, and you can see that uh, the vast majority of the people of the participant. Uh, truly understood uh, what was the spirit of the rating. So uh, if you look at the, at the four uh, categories, uh, category number four, which is the one with the um, uh, highest uh, ESG rating, uh, was uh, uh, representing a very small part in terms of uh, available companies uh, among the whitelisted companies, uh, while uh, it, it's uh, nearly one fourth of the companies that have been traded so far. Uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, even smaller probably was the, mm, the number of companies with a very bad uh, ESG rating, and actually they have been traded even less than uh, the number of companies present uh, uh, proportionally. Uh, the same for category two and three. Of course, category three is the largest one uh, because it's where the vast majority of the companies uh, fell in, but uh, it's absolutely normal. In terms of trading, Again, what you can see, there have been a number of transactions and a number of amount traded that was really, really high in the very beginning, going down, of course, down the road because the vast majority of the portfolios has been set during the first, the first part of the, of the challenge. And then there have been probably lateral movements that were somehow adjusting uh, the situation uh, going to follow the market or because I was more aware of what was requested or because I uh, received a hint, for example. So, so Paolo, uh, sorry, so, yeah. just to see if I'm getting it right. The fact that it's decreasing is due to, I mean, it, it's somehow a way to say that our players were already skilled since the beginning. Am, am I no. getting this no, no, Rico. The, the 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 reason why it's uh, it's decreasing it's because uh, this is not a trading challenge; it's an investment challenge. The difference sure. is that while trading is an, act, an activity that you are performing day by day, every day, you are buy and sell, looking for the immediate profit you can uh, get from your uh, your investment. This is uh, for your trade. Sorry, this is an investment. So you are looking at the medium long term let's say, uh, generally speaking. So you're setting your portfolio in the beginning. So the vast majority uh, of the of the trades has been done in the beginning because in the beginning you were defining, you were building your portfolio. So uh, the first days you, uh, you, you built your portfolio, you bought a lot of stocks uh, and uh, you invested the vast majority of your, uh, of your available money. And then uh, you have a decreased number of trades uh, showing that uh, down the line, you were adjusting. So you were selling something you thought was good, but was not very good, or you were buying something you thought you, you didn't understand, you didn't understand in the beginning that was so good. So uh, these are adjustments that you can do, of course, day by day, and that are uh, representing also, for example, uh, I didn't get uh, in the in the detail analysis of these graphs, but if you go and look probably on April the 22nd, uh, there was uh, a spike in the market. So there was some major movement in the market, the same for April 26. So um, probably uh, there have been more movements in the market and players reasonably uh, made some trading, uh, sure. let's say giving up maybe the uh, detention day bonuses, but uh, taking profit from the movement of the market. So uh, Again, uh, good flexibility in the approach that they have followed for uh, for this challenge. If we go to the second um, 
page. Uh, this uh, this one is representing the um, the amount of uh, uh, let's say uh, how much the players followed the hints that our uh, our team proposed in the in the website. So uh, here, what we can see is that. After the hint, uh, the, re the, the red square represents a, a bad hint, and the green square represents a good hint. Uh, there was a good a good uh, follow up by the by the players. I don't know if Matteo wants to uh, to briefly comment on this. Yes, um, as you can see more in detail, if you can look on the twenty sixth of April on the positive news. There was a great uh, increase on HP from, let's say, 10 to 10 times 101, and even more proportionally on the day after on international paper from 20, from 0 to 81. And the opposite uh, has happened on Coca Cola bottle with the bad news from 57 to 17. What does uh, it mean, that thing? that all the company have to pay a lot of attention to the news because this was a challenge where you try to invest on, on the basis of science but also in real market there are news appearing every day on newspaper and somehow this could, this could link to some reputation of the bank and so it could be also some reputational risk of bank or the investment firm so this was constructed, but it happened also in real life. Thank you, Matteo. And uh, I mean, even because you helped me in realizing this is not a battleship uh, game, it's something, you know, to, uh, there is a correlation among the two tables with the links in, in the middle. Paolo, would you continue? Yeah, no, no. Uh, I mean, Matteo said probably uh, what was uh, to be said, and uh, the the bottom line is that uh, uh, I would say the players were very, very uh, careful, and uh, I would say um, uh, active in uh, in uh, looking at the hints. So, uh, good job from our uh, from our team that proposed the the proper hints, let's say, and a very good job, of course, from the players who were able to understand the reason and uh, the, the I would say the um, uh, the logics uh, behind the the, the, the hints uh, proposal and uh, and so on Be before moving to Davide who has some more numbers to to comment about the way of playing I will involve you guys in commenting we we, reached, we have uh, uh, received the two different comments one made from, by Nicolo who is uh, appreciating the challenge uh, and uh, the, the focus on sustainability with passion and determination today I reached the fifth place while last year it was 1000 so he's, uh, he's a, a you know a, a frequent flyer of uh, uh, our investment challenge and we are happy to have uh, uh, Nicolo together with uh, with us uh, really much Enrico really much exactly exactly and uh, uh, we have another comment made uh, by another friend who is proposing us a sort of uh, let me say, uh, a suggestion, a feedback, I don't know how to call it, but uh, Michele is saying the challenge is based on a conceptual short circuit. Investing is a long-term activity. 10 day uh, trading day, 10 trading days by definition is not a long term. Uh, I, I, I have in my mind a possible answer, but I guess you guys are, are the ones who, who can do it. Yes, that's, that's true. In the normal life, long term, consider more than one year and so on. But in fact, that this objective of our formula, if you remember of our formula, then uh, um, Emilio can explain you better. There was some uh, positive and negative factors attached to our formula, exactly to replicate the long term of one year or more in a short term of 10 days. It was, it was exactly our purpose in our formula, replicate the long term in a short term. That's yeah. something, please, guys, go on. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Uh, Matteo, you're absolutely right. The point is that uh, being impossible to maintain a challenge like this for more than one year, because, I mean, it wouldn't make any, uh, any sense. I, I, so. I can't imagine how many webinars we should make. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Enrico. Uh, we, uh, let's say, invented and introduced the bonus malus mechanism uh, in order to, let's say, uh, amplify the effect that we would like to, to see in the, uh, in the market.
market and possibly uh, making it more, uh, let's say, exciting for the players as well. Uh, so uh, this is the, the reason why uh, we, uh, we structured the, the, the challenge in this way, because we were, we were needing to, let's say, take advantage of something that otherwise would have shown up in a, a year or more, because probably for a kind of investment challenge like this one, uh, even one year is too short a period of time. So uh, if we want to see ESG events showing up in history and in financial markets, probably we should talk about five years, not one year only. Sure, sure. The, the, um, I don't know if, Emilio, you want to, uh, because we mentioned many times the yes. screenshot time with the formula you, you have prepared. Yes, of I, course, uh, Enrico. I think that uh, this is the best way to, uh, to answer to answer to Michele. So let me, let me share my screen. Please yep. tell me when you are able to see it. We, we see it right now. You can go in, exactly, in presentation mode. Perfect. So, uh, what uh, Paolo and Matteo have, um, have said is totally correct. Why I'm saying this? Because uh, uh, we adjusted the bonus matrices and the, multipli the multiplication factor to uh, make a simulation. How I would like to earn or, of course, uh, lose if I would invest in a sustainable uh, in a sustainable product in uh, I don't know one month two months one year this is uh, a, a um, total a global investment process is uh, uh, taken in only 10 days so in 10 days uh, with this bonus uh, with this malus and with this multiplication factor you are able to understand how do the market evolve within the sustainable component. So this is, uh, I think, uh, Matteo, Paolo, what uh, you are saying, it is correct. Correct. Perfect, perfect. By, so I think, yes, Enrico. Sorry, Emilio, by, uh, thank you, of course, again, for, for the moment, if we could, because uh, we had uh, shared this formula, this presentation since the beginning, since our first webinar. So everything was on the table and clear since the beginning. Nothing was... Let me say, we were even more uh, generous than in the past in sharing everything uh, by scrolling uh, yes. comments on, on our, uh, by, uh, made by our audience. I see another comment made by Michele, who is uh, uh, asking us how to control, even uh, if possible, uh, some uh, way, in, in many ways, uh, the multiples account, even if, uh, uh, yeah, there are uh, accounts that have a number, the control room can better uh, explain you, Michele, why you should see some accounts with the number at the end of, of their ID, but they can do it. Uh, they can do it offline. Then let me. I, I would use just this. Yes, my camera would be back. Okay, I would use this uh, uh, chance just to remind you that the reply challenges are online games. So on that's the, the same for the coding, the cybersecurity, the creativity, the sustainable investment one, and all the others in the future. We are talking about online gaming that deserves fair play. We are, we are somehow dealing with the fact that you are not all in the same room. We are online in 90 countries all over the world, 14,000 registrations. We will check, we always check the, the ID and the people we send the prize, the people winning, the people who are uh, somehow reaching the stage. But then in order to have a learning experience, an effective learning experience, we, of course, uh, trust you trust that you are playing with your skills with your competencies in an online and fair play game that's something that i guess it's even uh, honest to, to and transparent to uh, to 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 point out at this stage even if it's clear since the beginning we are talking about an online game and we hope you are out of all, having fun out of it and having a great learning experience uh, okay, guys, please. We originally uh, the Enrico, alpha I'm sorry, Emilio, I would please. only to, to add a point. Uh, sure. That, uh, this is uh, related to the reports that the players uh, will, uh, will have to fill it if they uh, could be the winners of the challenge. We will uh, control, we will check uh, everything, all the transaction, everything it uh, has been done from uh, the player because uh, our first... Uh, point of attention is that the, the best player takes uh, the best, uh, I would say, the best position in the ranking. 
and uh, because he is the, the person that has applied, has studied, and has understood all the um, thoughts related to the challenge. This is only Enrico, another part that uh, is also important for us to, to, to share with the players because sure. everything is taken into consideration. Sure, Everything. sure. The, uh, I would leverage on your answer even to answer another comment made by Julia, who's asking, can you tell us what uh, uh, the winner invested in once the challenge finishes? Yes, of course. We will do it. In, in, we will do this in different ways. If you visit challenges.reply.com, you will see a challenge original section where we collect stories out of the past challenges. And there it's already present an article about the, the story of the winner of the past edition. Uh, and why not? We will have another edition for this year telling outside, out again, the story of the winner. And why not? Not only the winner of this sustainable investment challenge, sharing their strategy and what they have done. Talking about this, we had uh, uh, we uh, we can talk already about the survey, guys, or you want to postpone this topic slightly later? Because there is a survey that, he, that we sent you to all the players and we are collecting there some feedbacks uh, from the players and we have some interesting answers there as well. So, uh, Davide, I don't know if you want before to share some numbers and then we can move to the survey topic. Yeah, I, I think we should take a, a little bit of a step back because uh, we talked about sure. the buy good and sell bad index. Uh, and uh, one thing that I think is truly amazing that now that yeah, we are in the end and we are a little bit wrapping up the numbers, we have seen at the beginning that like 60% uh, is gaining money, okay? And this is sure. quite amazing because last year there was no thing, uh, nothing about sustainability, nothing about uh, choosing the right company. And uh, at the end of the challenge, we, we've seen the, the same numbers uh, almost. And this is interesting because it means that, yeah, we, we kept sustainability in mind a lot, but at the same time, we we decided, uh, our player decided uh, to invest in something that is profitable. This uh, brings us uh, as, uh, to another data, which is quite interesting that uh, if we analyze uh, the backend or our platform, we see how we got uh, more than 15,000 users. So all the players accessed it maybe with uh, multiple devices and so on. And uh, the page views count uh, is almost half a million, which is uh, really great. And even if, uh, as my colleagues said before, it's not a, a, a trading challenge, so we cannot expect people to stay on the platform and trade all day long, we have seen uh, how, in total, our players played uh, for more than one year and a half on the platform from 133 countries. So we, we have been able to, to reach a lot of people for a lot of time during the challenge. And as I said earlier, OK, they, they kept profitability in mind. And this is uh, something we will stress a little bit more after. But one thing, uh, and we will see it uh, better in the survey, but one thing is quite interesting is uh, to look up and the most uh, bought stock by our player. Because in them, uh, we, we see 10 companies that are really, really talked about. Uh, but some outliers, we have seen uh, some companies that like, uh, and I'm going to make a little bit of a list, uh, Microsoft, uh, Amazon, NVIDIA, Alphabet, Netflix, and Johnson & Johnson, which in a way or another are outliers. I'm not telling here if they are really good or really bad, but in the most traded stock, uh, we, we see some outliers, we can say. While uh, in, in, the, in the average, uh, we have seen uh, the, the average portfolio is better than the market portfolio. But it's quite interesting to see this uh, in the most traded stock. And it's a thing that players, if they want to compete really in a good way in the final, they need to know better on the stocks they are training mostly in because they, they could uh, be a, an important factor in the final round. Thank you, Davide. The, uh, just because we are connecting with you, I would uh, refresh uh, the... Uh, we started the webinar by asking the audience to guess what is the int behind your uh, behind you. There is a blackboard with some kind of, you know, yeah, with some drawings. At the end of the webinar, we will disclose uh, who had who got the real answer out of it. But then let me uh, even invite all over again our players there. If they want the last minute int about their investment, they can... Uh, ask us, uh, uh, I mean, they can suggest uh, asking uh, the, 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 how to say, the ESG feedback, let me say, out of their, the stocks they want to, 
to invest in. So guys, use the chat if you have in your mind a stock you are not that sure about, an asset you want to get a feedback about. We are here in order to answer you and to give you our last minute uh, int uh, on, uh, uh, on, your, uh, on your suggestion, let me say, on what you want to invest in. Um, yeah, Rico, because Paolo. this is going to be this is going to be very good also for the final uh, for the finals. Where sure. uh, I mean, not unfortunately, not all of you, but uh, uh, the hundred of you who will participate to the finals uh, will have to remember that uh, uh, probably I would say probably generally speaking, the uh, ESG rating of the company you traded so far won't change uh, significantly. Uh, there might be some other movements, but not for sure uh, uh, different uh, than uh, different uh, ratings, uh, completely different ratings. So uh, bear in mind that. Bear in mind that we're going to change slightly some rules uh, to make the final uh, the finals a bit more uh, spicy. Uh, it's going to be uh, a three-day final, but uh, it's going to be more intense than this because we're going to amplify, and we will say later down the road today, uh, how we are doing that, amplify the bonus malus mechanism and give you, uh, giving you more freedom in how you can, uh, let's say, trade and create your portfolio. Uh, also because, uh, as I said before, uh, if two weeks uh, is not a long time, in the long run, uh, three days is even more <laughs> not a long run. So we are going to create the conditions to generate differences in the portfolios, even in a three-day run. So this is what we are going to show later down the road today. In the meanwhile, uh, I uh, back the line to, to Matteo for some comments uh, on, on the numbers that we collected or on the returns that we collected from, from the survey. Sure, Matteo. Yes, we have a return very interesting on a strategy. Someone anonymous, so I cannot uh, say who was, uh, that he did a top-down analysis, selecting in product sector, getting information on top-notch ESG companies, and then analyzed the financial plus some short-term trend, some technical analysis. So more or less, this was the process that I had in mind that is not far from the investment process. So it's something good to take in mind for the 100 people that are participating to the final. Of course, on that part of the final, you have to focus more on some part and less on some other to balance the today and to balance the, some differences that were speaking before Paolo. But anyway, you can take this in towards somehow, even, even if it is very general, it's quite interesting. So, sorry, Matteo, we are commenting the answer arrived by a made uh, shared by a player to our survey and where we were asking describe the strategy you are following during this first round right so somehow we are ans even answering to the uh, to the question made uh, by uh, Julia so to share a bit of the strategy because we are reaching the end of the game of the online round so people are honestly curious about what what the others have done to to reach uh, uh, great results Yes, ex exactly. It's a, a strategy of someone else. Is enough general to be shared, not on specific sector or stock. So it's something you can think to it. All right. And any other comment arrived on the survey that we want to, to comment? Or, uh, I mean, anyhow, we invite the players if they, uh, uh, if they want, if they like, to share with us their feedback by answering the survey. Uh, because, of course, that's the best way for us to, to improve and to get some, uh, some feedback all over again on our, uh, on our journey here with the Sustainable Investment Challenge. So please, guys, do it. Spend your three minutes in sharing with us your feedback. Thanks to the survey we have shared with you via email and that we will for sure uh, renew as an invitation later uh, at the end of our challenge. I see other comments coming in. Alessandro saying... I will go for diversification, both for asset classes on the right side of our screen with industry symbols on our left. Uh, that's the, uh, I guess, it, I'm, I'm guessing it right as, as a strategy for the final. Um, it, de it depends because um, my, op my personal opinion, today's uh, taking account of diversification I don't know. All right. I mean, I mean, no, sorry, but, but I might be wrong. I might say, I might, uh, Alexandros is trying to answer the hint to uh, behind David's shoulder, right? The, the hint there for the blackboard. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, man. I get it right, right here. Okay. Okay. I get it. 
the uh, yeah there might be a possible answer there why not try again try again we are asking you guys to get what is the int behind david's shoulder uh, that helps you a lot a lot in the uh, in the end of these uh, uh, in the final hours of these uh, sustainable investment challenges so please try to guess for the ones who will get the right answer at the end of the webinar in about 90 minutes we will give Please show the T-shirt, David, the, the buy good, the sell bad limited edition T-shirt just for you guys. Uh, I see another comment made by Leo. Will the portfolio start again at $1 million for the final round? Question for you guys. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, just sorry, introducing them. Uh, I will uh, let you to Emilio for, uh, for further details. However, this is the most important part uh, for the finance. So what we are doing here is uh, to go for slight changes in the rules of the, of the, of the finance compared to the ones that were, man, uh, were ruling uh, the, the first part. So uh, first of all, most important, yes, your $1 million uh, available will be reset uh, after, after uh, the online part of the game and uh, will be reset starting from the, for, for the finance. Second uh, thing to remember, uh, you know you have a, di a diversification limit in your, uh, in your portfolio and uh, these limits will be changed. So we will give you more freedom uh, if you want to, of course, uh, you're not obliged, but if you want to, you will be given more freedom in order to uh, be more focused on stocks uh, and uh, uh, companies that might allow you to, uh, to get a, a wider return. Uh, third point, we are going to change slightly, and this is, uh, of course, part of the game, uh, the, the duration uh, bonus, because uh, this is not lasting uh, 10 days, but it's lasting only three days, so also this bonus will be, will be changing. Uh, I'll ask uh, Emilia to uh, present the, the changes we're going to introduce, and then uh, we are going to see how you can leverage on these, on these changes for, for the final uh, part of the game. So, guys, we are talking about a very important moment right here. We are sharing what is critical and very, very important for the final round. So if you are about to access the final round, you are among the top 100 players, this is the tips and tricks time take note, even if we are recording this and will be shared right after, this is a very important time. Emilio, stage yes. is yours. Enrico, I think this is uh, the most important moment in the webinar for uh, the 100 people that uh, will join us to the finals, because uh, now they can start thinking about how to build their portfolio. So what they can do? They uh, will have uh, a position limit. So uh, what is position limit is how much a player can invest in a single position. And it will be um, moved to the 30% of the portfolio value for equities and bonds. So what does it mean? That a player can invest until uh, $300,000 on a single position on equities and bonds while for options it will be the 5%. So guys, start thinking about uh, what have been the best uh, products you have invested, where you have seen uh, the best uh, ranking adjustment after all the trades you have done, of course, because uh, you can focus on uh, a little bit of that. And uh, this is uh, one of the most important things uh, that will uh, change in the final. The second point, uh, it uh, will be the product diversification limit for the option. What does it mean? That uh, a player uh, will be able to invest until the 20% of, of his total balance on options. So um, remember, of course, uh, the players will remember that uh, we evaluate uh, the options positions on the premium price. So what does it mean? That with the 20% of the portfolio balance, uh, really uh, something can change. Really, a really um, big part of the portfolio can change. So Enrico, this is uh, the first part. This is the first part of the change and is, uh, of course, really, really important. Uh, 
uh, I would also to continue what Paolo was saying about the detention, the, the detention days coefficient. Why? Because as Paolo said, the, the, the final uh, will, uh, you have to spend three days playing, not 10. So what does it mean that uh, the bonus malus for the ESG ranking uh, will be given to the players that will detain, detain the portfolio position for at least two days. What does it mean? We have three days of, uh, of match, I would say. You have to detain for at least two days. So uh, if I would be a player, I can tell you what, what I would do. So what I would do, I would uh, start with a little bit of investment during the first day of challenge. Uh, but um, if I would also to take uh, an advantage from an ESG point of view, that is the most crucial, the most important parameter of our challenge, I have to uh, invest in um, what I think are really good ESG companies, uh, a good part of my portfolio before the end of the first day. So I can spend two days holding on my portfolio, um, taking the ESG bonus, and uh, after on the third day, you have detained the positions for the minimum time to take the bonus and so you can continue investing and uh, mm, uh, fixing something that you think is going wrong during the, the two days but this is only an advice if it would be a player but it is important because remember you will have the bonus only if you will detain for two days the position in the portfolio this is really really important to, to remember. So Enrico, I have, I have told everything I can tell. I would say <laughs> I could tell, but Other, not, otherwise not you will be the one playing. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Emilio. <laughs> I, I, I hope for that for the players that, I mean, I'm sure for that for the players watching our webinar today, this, uh, those have been uh, very useful tips and tricks. The end of our tips and tricks session right now, even if of course we are here to help you all over again by, uh, by sharing with you some uh, some other uh, suggestions. Last uh, 15 minutes sort of of our webinar for today, I see Matteo saying, I think the hint on the Blackboard is about General Motors and other possible solutions. Stay with us before the end. We will share, we will share with you the, uh, the real answer out of this. But Davide is with us because we'd like to approach a bit. I mean, today, Davide, they are not asking, so far, they're not asking for suggestion about no, last minute it, stocks. it's quite it, it's quite strange because uh, it, it means that last minute uh, sales uh, are based more uh, on profitability than uh, on sustainability, and and this is uh, obviously because uh, there is no advantage in sustainability terms. But you have to think about long term and about the final round. So we we have the the first ten stocks uh, here that uh, Enrico is uh, going. Sure, to... sure. That, that that's why why not to say to do the opposite. So I will tell you the top ten most bought stocks in the challenge. Something that Maria Grazia, uh, head of uh, finance market strategy in Banca Generali, stress a lot in her market updates in the first three webinars. That kind of many many players and and high uh, number of players were uh, trading all the same. Uh, kind of technological stocks, uh, but not for all of them we're talking about an IESG rating at the end. No, and so, and What is interesting David, is that uh, the, the, most, uh, the 10 most traded stocks uh, are making almost a fourth uh, of the global portfolio. So I, I think it's uh, really, really important to know them well if uh, you want to succeed against the other competitors because virtually everyone has them in their portfolio, but you know, you have good and bad in their in portfolio so pay attention to them of course so in a matter of esg rating now i tell you some stocks and you make your face okay to comment just with the face what is the rating there the microsoft corporation 
Kind of, kind of proud, kind of proud, seems to me. Okay, in the meanwhile, Nicolò trying to say Coke bottling as a solution for the blackboard hint. We don't know, we don't know. Then we have uh, for Davide, top 10 most box stocks in the challenge, uh, Johnson & Johnson. Very, kind of Microsoft, the same of Microsoft, I, I say in a matter of the face, right? Okay. <laughs> Enrico, can I say that uh, I love this part of the webinar? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I see it as a good moment even to share feedback outside, okay? David's faces yes. are very peculiar, so you, you see. Uh, top 10, the most bought stocks, another in the list is uh, um, Alphabet Inc. Hmm. Now the face is kind of different. Not that, not that working well, not that working well. Uh, another stock is, uh, of course, I mean, so far I told about Microsoft, uh, uh, Alphabet Inc., so Google at the end. Uh, we mentioned Johnson & Johnson, that is different from the technological sector, let me say. Another technological one on the top five is Amazon.com Inc. Definitely not. <laughs> Def seems to be definitely not. And uh, uh, let me mention another one that can that can be a surprise differently is Nvidia Corporation. <laughs> that that was very <laughs> there is a very particular word how to describe this phase. So Nvidia Corporation is definitely a, a, a good suggestion. Um, uh, and let me close the the loop, guys. Even if you all guys, if you want to propose your uh, your stocks to David for his face, you are definitely allowed to do it. In the top ten, and let me say, not a technological one, different from the, the usual. We had uh, uh, Pfizer Inc. Seems kind of, kind of. Yeah, why not? Okay, okay. So uh, the uh, those are just the uh, I mentioned some of the to top ten most bought stocks during the challenge. And as we say many times, there are kind of many, many technological sector, technological industry uh, sector. We commented this a lot, uh, and uh, uh, and we ask you, we invite you to go and look uh, and study and look for other alternatives. Then, Davide, if you'd like, we can comment together with the others, of yeah. course, a bit of the top, uh, the best 20 ESG and the worst 20 ESG rating um, yeah, um, investments. It's quite interesting because... Uh, we have a list, of course, with the best and the notable words, we can say. And, okay, the best ESG of all uh, is part uh, of the, the interview we are going to give uh, at the end uh, of the webinar. So look close here and uh, you, you will get it at the end. When it comes to, to the, uh, the other best, okay, we already said that um, some of the top 10 uh, in the technological market are really good. And we, we see a little bit of a trend. We see some uh, really... Um, technological stocks on uh, more on hardware and uh, we see also some um, product on uh, we can say our daily life product they, uh, they, they get easier in the, the first part in, in the best DSG when it comes to the worst one well we, we talked already about one case in particular in our last webinar and is uh, the, the poor green planes when you hear the name green planes you, you think about oh something green something environmentally friendly and, and no you have to pay attention we, we talked a lot about a uh, false friend about greenwashing and green planes is the eponym of greenwashing so pay attention to this and remember that uh, it's it's um, more difficult we can say for um, communication uh, or information technology stocks uh, to get an higher ESG they are struggling it a little bit we have seen it uh, for example uh, as uh, we said earlier, uh, with the, with Alphabet and so on. So pay attention because technology, which uh, at, uh, at first seems uh, like a, a very modern stuff, uh, well, th there can be false friends. So do your due diligence. Don't get caught on uh, profitability only because uh, sometimes these are one of the most traded stocks, but pay attention to a lot of factors when, when you build your portfolio. And uh, there, I'm going to give you some name, and I can't tell you if they are on one side on the uh, notable best or in the notable worst, but keep in mind what I just said, and I'll give you some names. The names are NVIDIA, HP, Coca-Cola Battling, Zoom Video Communication, Kellogg, Domino's Pizza, Facebook, Hewlett Packard, and Netflix. Some of them are among the best, some of them are among the worst, 
what can I tell you is uh, to do your due diligence, you will get a, a lot if you can recognize the best from the worst, because we know you're trading the worst, most of you. And this is the time if you get to the final to start trading the best. So, so start the with the right foot. Final minutes, uh, super ints uh, that have been uh, shared by Davide. And uh, uh, so, guys, again, uh, we, 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 are, we are really, really trying to help you in, uh, in shaping up your strategy at the end of the, uh, of the challenge. There is a question made by Francesco. Uh, if I close the positions today, they will, they will be counted in the final leaderboard? Paolo? Yes. yes. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, from the leaderboard point of view, uh, the um, uh, the fact that you are going to close the position the last day, the last minute of the last day, or you keep it open, uh, is irrelevant. Uh, you're be uh, you're be counted for that position as well. So uh, the difference is that you are taking advantage of the PNL uh, in one case uh, that is implicit in the value of the of the stock, or uh, you are counted for the PNL that you are going to realize. So. Um, the, the the difference is that uh, of course you are going to be evaluated on the closing market uh, value. Uh, while if you close it uh, five minutes uh, five minutes before, you exactly know the the value of the stock you're uh, you're holding your portfolio. And about this, uh, one point, uh, because uh, Emilio was uh, presenting the strategies that could be followed for the final round. Remember, I would like to stress one fact that probably um, is not so uh, let's say immediate to understand. But when we say that you have to hold the position for two days at least, uh, we, means, uh, we means for two nights. So uh, you have to have the market that opens two times before you can sell it, okay? So if I buy on Wednesday, for example, just to make a, an example, uh, if I buy on Wednesday night before the market closes and I sell it on Friday morning just after the market opens, I gain the bonus for the detention days, okay? So together with what Emilio said before, take a uh, bear in mind this because it can be very useful if you want to uh, take profit both from the bonus related to the tension days and on the other hand from the bonus from the PNL uh, deriving from your trading activity. That's the reason why we said we are adding a bit of spice to the to the challenge. So we are multiplying uh, the effect uh, on the uh, on the bonus uh, uh, component for the detention days on one side and we are giving you the chance to uh, to trade so you can both leverage on the pnl on one side and on the on the uh, and on the on the detention days on the other side Thank you, yeah. Paolo, for the... Uh, David, please, yes. The, yeah, the, we, may, yeah, the, the, sure, sure, please. On, on what Paolo said, okay, it's true. We are doing this uh, um, building up artificially sometimes uh, on uh, the detention day and the sustainability. But it, it is not only functional to the challenge, but you have to remember one thing. When you'll be part uh, of, the, of a financial institution, of course, you will look for profitability. And this is... Uh, your job basically but your client that the person lending you the money will need uh, some guidelines some safety we can say on uh, environmental and social and government uh, uh, things so we are adding this level because uh, it's really important to understand that this is the basis to invest then of course you have to be profitable because otherwise you're out of the market but you have to remember that the client is asking for this and more and more when younger people will be your most of your clients. So remember this to understand why we are doing this thing about uh, sustainability, first of all. Sure. I, I, I see. Matteo, you want to add something? Yes, because of that, uh, what is something to add is somehow is not perceived as value. Sustainability as a cost of, of some, some people might realize it's a value. There is a big value behind and a big revenue behind. You just have to discover it. If you remember the example that they've done um, two or two years ago, three years ago about Deliveroo, that after the IPO, 
lose 30 percent for the problem with the with the s that's money that's real money losses <laughs> so there is a lot of value behind sustainability so it's not only a game it's also real money in the real life Sure, sure, even because the challenge is all based on real markets uh, moments and uh, real markets uh, activities and initiatives. Uh, telling about it, uh, uh, if you visit reply.com, you will find out uh, straight on the home page an interesting uh, article, an interesting page dedicated to sustainable investment. I don't know if, uh, Paolo, you want to add something about it or Matteo, Emilio, we, we just share these. Please visit reply.com, our web website for, uh, for this integration, let me say. Yes, we just develop a web page as a reply regarding our sustainability practice uh, with together with uh, some people that have encountered doing this those days, like Elisabetta, Mattia, and all, all the other people. And all together, we have developed those that, by, that part. So it's something interesting also, as you can see, for real financial institutions. So if you would like to take a look, visit our web page. Sure. Thank you, Matteo. And uh, uh, we still have our final moment uh, to, uh, to tell you what is the real answer out of the blackboard behind uh, Davide. But let me answer to my friend B. Light saying, I am in Bangladesh. I know I have no chances to win the challenge. But if I win, how you will give me the prize? Man, you can be on Mars. You'll be, we'll be there too. Okay? Look at our faces. We are not the people who doesn't take challenges. But you can be everywhere in the world. Don't worry about it. Definitely. And because of this, getting back to the real answer out of the blackboard behind Davide, please, Davide, tell us the real well, answer. We, we have a winner for it. Uh, so congratulations to Haile Emil. Since uh, the beginning. Right? Yes, yeah, since the beginning. And uh, he or she is, a, is a really fond of art. Yeah, it's the Campbell Soup Company. And uh, surprisingly, they are not good, but they are really, really, really good. They are the best. And uh, of course, uh, you, you can't expect uh, maybe huge gains on them, but in terms of uh, ESG, they, they are the best. That's great. And we, we have tried, of course, to simulate the famous Andy Warhol uh, paint behind you. Definitely not the same level, but then that's what we, we did <laughs> in order to suggest to you that that was a definitely a great investment. So Campbell Soup Company was definitely a great choice. If you've made it, you may have, you might be one of the top 100 players accessing the final round of May 12 to the 14, but still you have few hours in order to qualify. Guys, we reached the end of our webinar. Thank you very much. Let me know if there is something you want to add, Paolo, Emilio, Matteo. Good luck. Good luck to the 100, the 100 exactly. chosen, I would say. Sure, yeah. sure. Of course. Good luck to all of you guys. Ali, Emil, please send us an email to challenges.atreply.com in order to get in touch and send you your deserved prize, the beautiful t shirt that Davide is wearing, buy good, sell bad. And uh, uh, thank you very much to all the players connected with us today for our fourth and final progress webinar for this uh, online round. We'll be back for another webinar on the final round. Uh, I'm not sure if on the 12th or the 14th, you guys know it? It might be on the 12th, right? 12th, right? If I'm not mistaken. 12, okay. We'll anyhow communicate it properly on social media. So follow us uh, on uh, Reply Challenges, Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter, and of course, on all the other challenges. Appointment is on challenges.reply.com for everything. Save the date, May the 12th. Thank you to the control room for our uh, final webinar dedicated to the final round approaching for the top 100 players playing at the Reply Sustainable Investment Challenge. Thank you very much to the Wall Reply Titanium team. You made great guys. And thanks to you, this is a great opportunity of learning and experience for more than 14,000 players worldwide. Thank you, Paolo, Emilio, Matteo, and Davide, and all the Thank others. You. Thank you, guys. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Good luck, everybody. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Thank you. Ciao.